Hi, this is Hodrabino from DevilsItis.com. We're here with the quarterback, Mike Berkovici, after the last summer workout. And, Mike, a lot of seniors tell me that this is the first day that it really hits you. You're a senior. This is the last summer workout you're ever going to have at Arizona State. Um, I saw DJ Foster getting pretty emotional. You're getting pretty emotional. Just, just talk what was going through your mind this morning. Oh, man. Uh, you know, we all woke up this morning, and like I said, we couldn't sleep. It was, pretty, it was pretty ironic because we both have those type of emotions. I mean, we've talked about senior day before, but this day is pretty special as well. I mean, just the blood, sweat, and tears going in this bubble. I can't tell you how many times I've probably thrown up, sweat, my, you know, laying on the ground, uh, you know, gassed after workouts, but this is this is a very you know special moment for us because for us who have been here for four or five years, um, this bubble can be our friend or it cannot be our friend. You know you you see the cones lined up, you see the trash cans lined up. You know what kind of days are are ahead of you, but it's just it's just a special moment. When uh, you know people talk about you know the brotherhood and the chemistry of this team, obviously it's something that shows up. Um, every Saturday, but also something that shows up a lot in the workouts and really helps you get through the dog days of summer, having that intangible? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, what, you, what, what the fans see on Saturday is probably an eighth of the brotherhood that we really have. I mean, the real brotherhood goes on, like I've said before, in, in, in the winter workouts, in the spring workouts, especially in the summer workouts. I mean, that's what pushes us through it. There's days where, you know, you don't want to squat as heavy as you can, but when you look to your brother next to you and they're the ones screaming in your face, it's go time. And that's how we feel whenever we step out in this bubble, whenever we're in the weight room, and um, it really is one another that gets us through these workouts. I want to talk to you about your Elite 11 experience. Obviously, you were uh, picked as a top counselor over there. How much is that experience helping you, um, you know, right now in workouts, and how much think it's going to help you in fall camp, really competing against the best of the best and really also getting instructions from the best out there like Trent Dilfer? Oh, absolutely. I mean, that was a great ex experience, you know, for myself to, to represent Arizona State from a recruiting aspect, from, a, from a, you know, heading into the 2015 season. Um, it was an opportunity for Arizona State to get out there in public, and that's how I approached it. And, you know, what we do at ASU is we compete. And, then, you know, we had, an, we had an opportunity to compete with one another. There were some rivals there, and it was go time. And, and nobody, it, was no, it wasn't smiles and fun. It was, it was some serious competition. But, you know, it was just an opportunity, like I said, just to put, put our team, you know, that much, you know, a step forward um, going into the season. And it was an exciting time, and, you know, I was just proud to bring home, a, you know, a little, our first championship for the season. I mean, a lot of people say that actually you can learn your craft better when you actually are asked to teach it to other people. I mean, did you feel coming away from Lily 11 that that really helped you? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's, it, it was cool because both Brady and Manny were, uh, you know, students that you can say at that camp and we were able to coach you know be able to coach each other up learn some little things because that you know that's some pretty you know next level uh whether it's footwork drills mental drills and it's just it's just a, another opportunity to, to uh, build a relationship with the quarterback group and uh what the you know trent dilfer is an incredible guy I means he's he's probably one of the most intense guys i've ever met from the quarterback position which is supposed to be a relaxed position but he really cranks it up a notch but once again just a great opportunity to put asu out there I mean, this team is obviously coming off a great year, but you guys aren't satisfied. You want to take it to the next level. I mean, what do you feel is different compared to this time last year that can really take Arizona State to that next level? Right. Well, Coach always talks about going, you know, going from 25, 25th ranked team to 12 is hard, but going from a 12th ranked team to the one is the next jump that we have to make. And we feel that it's not going to be how good of – you know, hands we have at receiver, how fast we are, how big of linemen we have. It really is the brotherhood in this team. It's what's, it's the makeup, it's the groundwork, the, you know, the foundation that we lay down. And we feel that the culture is set here. Um, players are leading players. That's the biggest difference is we don't need, you know, we don't need coaches to get on one another. We got leaders and that's what we feel, you know, the difference is from this year to last year. And, and we had a great team last year, incredible season, but it's time to put Arizona State, you know, take that next step forward, big step forward. Mike, thank you very much. And from Mike Bekravici, this is Hot Rubino reporting for Devil's Digest.